Hi, this is Patrick from Digital Vision, and we're going to do a quick tutorial on how to easily create subtitles in Nucoda. So the first thing I'm going to show you is on the left-hand side here, I've got an EDL that uh, was prepared earlier. And you'll see inside here we have, as the type name, we've got 0001 PNG 23456. This is typically the way that any subtitling program would, uh, would number uh, subtitles. And these are obviously PNG files. On the right hand side, I have the actual six PNG files uh, that was created by the subtitling program. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you the problem that we have when importing files like this into Nucoda. Inside the preferences, we can go to Capture and Conform Edit, and you'll see we have a still frame splice duration, which defaults to 125 frames. That is just uh, something to remember. We're going to go to our project, and I'm going to import the subtitles. So I'm going to go to my subtitle test, and that's the first problem that I have. The fact is that because those are numbered subtitles, we would see that as a single numbered sequence. So you're going to get a six frame sequence and that doesn't help anybody. So what we need to do is I'm going to go back to my desktop and I have a little program called files to folder.exe. This is a free piece of software and I will put the link on the uh, screen for you and very very simple what it does when you install it it adds a menu to the right mouse button i'm going to select the subtitles and it doesn't matter how many there are it's really very quick right click files to folder and i'm going to tell it to move each file into an individual folder and as quick as that each file is in its own folder now if you have to move these files back out again very easy just search for .png files highlight all of them copy them and paste them outside of the folders and just delete the folders fine what we have is we have the titles in our folders where we need to and i'm going to go back to my project import and set my import options to take the type name from the file name so file name type direct directory level zero actually if you leave it as one it will it will do the right thing as well so i'm going to close that and just do a bulk import of my subtitles so if i go back to my library now you'll see that the type name is the number of the subtitle and i actually have got separate subtitles i seem to be missing one so I might just go and fetch that one on its own. There we go. So I've got from one to six separate titles. And you'll see that we have in and out code. And the subtitles are exactly one frame in length. I'm going to firstly import my EDL. And I'm just going to go one back. Here's my EDL, going to import that just as it is. And we have the subtitles here. And when I go to conform, you're gonna notice that we have a tape name and a clip name. And the source in and out here starts at three seconds and then goes up to 11 in this case, or whatever the length is uh, that the subtitle is. Um, now, the problem is the subtitles don't have the same time code. So there's no way I'm going to be able to conform them. I'm going to go back to my library, highlight my titles, and simply change the time code and make each subtitle 20 hours long. Now, of course, this doesn't take up any more space on your hard drive. You'll now see the time code has changed. And when we go to conform, because your titles are already in the library, and my conform is set to conform the clip name 
from the file name, they all appear. So when I go and conform them now, my titles will be available. They should be available. The problem here, of course, is once again, I've changed my time code. So there is nothing from 0 to 20. All I need to go do is change that back to a time code that I know does contain a subtitle, which is one single frame. I'm going to apply that. And because single frame clips will come up for a duration of five seconds, when I go back to my library, my subtitles are where they should be. So if I go back and place my video now, the pretty jellyfish, I'm going to make a new video track. I'm just going to swap, uh, swap those two around like that. And I'm going to place my jellyfish underneath. And then the last thing I need to do to make this work is to set my composite to over, select all my subtitles, and add to that. And when you look, you'll see all the subtitles are where they should be. So just to recap, remember that subtitles, because they're numbered, will come in as a single string uh, or as a single clip. So we use files to folder to put them each in their own folder, which means they will come in as, as single clips or single, as still files. I changed the time code duration to a, a very big time code from zero so that the conform tool will find them. And after conforming them, I simply change it back to the actual duration of the clip that was imported, which is one frame, and then add the composite tool over.